Yes. So if you uh, the the topic with increase margins, I think that's very interesting. So this when I'm starting out as a business owner or as an entrepreneur, would that mean that I should um, offer more products or higher priced products or what what advice would you give that's a great point and i would say probably all of the above um you know generally like what you'll find is that one you can just change your messaging right so one of the things that i teach folks is to go into amazon and and search you know using keywords that are relevant to their business and then start looking through the books that are the top selling books in that particular market because the cover of that book, the table of contents, uh, as well as um, the back co uh, cover of that book, and all the reviews are going to tell you, you know, the language of the market, the words that are being used, the phrases that are being used to sell those books, and also that are being used in the reviews themselves, which are ultimately your, your market, your prospects, and potentially your buyers. And really just even changing the language that you use in a market aligns yourself with who they are. And it, it's, like a, it's like creating a mirror of the people you want to serve in your market by speaking the same language that they use and, you know, that the books that they're reading are using as well. And it's all there for free on Amazon for you to, to do a little bit of market research and be able to tweak your messaging just to change the perceived value of your product. And that at the end of the day, you know, um, most people would think that a rock is not very valuable, but for the person that's trying to use the rock to uh, crack open a coconut or a rock to hold down something that keeps flying away, it's much more valuable, right? So half of the positioning of a product is just speaking the language and fully exhausting all the benefits that um, th that your product can, can uh, bring to your marketplace. And then from there, then you can look at, hey, does this product bundle well with something else, right? I'm always like, hey, one plus one should equal 100, right? If I add this product with this product, now my perceived value is exponentially higher than those two products separate from each other, right? Look for ways to exponentially raise the perceived value by combining uh, products that you already have. You know, if you can even look at your buying data and see, hey, these, these people buy this product and then eventually they buy this product. Why don't we bundle that up and, and make them a deal they can't refuse, right? Or, hey, are there other products or maybe they're, they're, there's a, another provider or vendor out there that I can partner with and bundle his products with mine because it's a perfect match and it brings a, a higher perceived value solution to the table versus my single product that I may have.